Welcome to Game Tales, a series about video game storytelling through the use of history, lore, and the stories of not just the game, but the universe it exists in. In the previous episode of The Long Dark, the story of the Quiet Apocalypse, I told the history of Great Bear Island following the collapse. In this video, I will discuss the event that is responsible for the subtitle of this series. The first flare sent the world into a quiet apocalypse, but it isn't as quiet as you think. Before I continue, please make sure to do everything on screen. You have no idea how much it will help the video and the channel. The name First Flare is a reference to the Aurora event that sent the world of the Long Dark into a quiet darkness. But in reality, it was more than just an Aurora event. In order to understand what really happened, you need to know the science behind Auroras and what happened to the Earth during the First Flare. An aurora happens when a solar event, which can be one of many particle ejection events, hits the Earth's magnetic shield, sending charged particles along the magnetic field lines. During a solar event, the magnetic shield temporarily weakens, allowing the particles to reach the surface near the poles. These particles interact with gases in the Earth's atmosphere, creating the beautiful auroras you can see both in real life and in the long dark. For the events of the game, all you need to know is that a solar event of some kind hit the Earth and caused an aurora. This event was not ordinary in any way. Following the first flare, all electrical devices on Great Bear Island, and possibly the whole world, were disrupted. This included lights, phones, vehicles, broadcast devices, communication networks, and more. After the first flare, it was obvious that electrical devices were permanently damaged, until a follow-up aurora event revealed that everything was still functional. The fact that aurora events can turn everything back on means that all electrical devices are still working, and they are just being disrupted by something. With this in mind, I believe that not only did the first flare knock out all electrical devices, but it caused a permanent disruption to the Earth. What most likely occurred is that the Earth's magnetic shield is broken. Not broken as in it no longer works, but broken in a way that I am not intelligent enough to know or understand. Without the magnetic shield, everything on Earth would die. The magnetic shield is produced by spinning fluids in the Earth's outer core, and is self-sufficient as long as there is enough heat to circulate. I don't believe any kind of event could have disrupted this cycle. The same goes for a sudden magnetic pole shift, which does happen in real life very slowly, but not at a rate that would cause the disruption we see in-game. Like I said, I am not intelligent enough to really figure out what exactly happened. It is just important to know that some combination of conditions have been created that is disrupting the Earth's magnetic shield. These conditions are then temporarily reversed during an aurora or glimmer fog event, the latter of which is exclusive to the Far Territory. Despite the loss of some of the most important modern technologies, those being electricity, communication, transportation, and most likely the internet, there are more subsequent and less immediate effects of the first flare. The second effect following the loss of electrical devices was human nature. Violence. Looting. Chaos erupted. Once the supplies were gone and the smoke cleared, the survivors would scatter. Shortly after, animal behavior would change drastically. Predators that normally avoid humans now attack without warning. In the Wintermute Episode 3 final cutscene, you can see that large marine animals are being stranded and dying on the coast. It is commonly believed that a lot of animals rely on the magnetic field for migration and global positioning. This ability to use and rely on the magnetic field is called magnetoreception. A damaged or disrupted magnetic field would explain why the animals in the long dark behave differently than expected. The last and least obvious effect is the change in weather. It is the least obvious because the weather on Great Bear Island doesn't seem out of the ordinary. The game takes place in northern Canada in the late fall or early winter, so blizzards are common. The only time that the change in weather is even referenced is in the Wintermute Episode 3 final cutscene, where Aster just says it. There is no indication that the weather is changing. The Earth's weather system is driven by the sun. Considering there is some kind of magnetic disturbance, the sun could very much be involved more than we think. If the weather really is changing, I hope it is a little more obvious in Wintermute Episode 5. Going back to the timing of the game, I had previously stated that the game took place in 2022. In-game, there is a note with journal entries from September 5th through 7th on Timberwolf Mountain that alludes to the first flare occurring on exactly September 6th. 
There was also a prison bus that was heading to Black Rock Penitentiary near Milton. With it was a prisoner transport manifest that states it is November. The note from Timberwolf Mountain was added to the game in 2015, which is well before Wintermute released. It is possible that this note is no longer canonical, as it breaks continuity with a note that is exclusive to the campaign. It is important to mention that Mathis, Heller, and Vakan, the main villains of Wintermute Episode 4, are all listed on the Prisoner Transport Manifest, which means that November 2022 is the timing of the first flare and the game. And with that, the timeline of Great Bear Island's pre-First Flare history is complete. The arrival of the First Flare meant the immediate downfall of modern civilization. With it came suffering, destruction, and a change to the world that will be seen over time. If the entire planet was affected, as it is alluded to, I can't imagine what the Long Dark would be like in a completely different setting. Without a way to communicate with the rest of the world, we may never know the fate of humanity. While everything is relatively calm on Great Bear Island, who knows what is happening elsewhere? Just because we can't see or hear it doesn't mean it isn't happening. The quiet apocalypse is not as quiet as it seems. Before the first flare, there was a secret darker than the pitch black darkness of the night. A hidden past buried beneath the ice and snow blanketing Great Bear Island. Its existence radiates like an energy field, consuming the far reaches of the island. But that is a story for the next episode of Game Tales, The Long Dark, the story of the quiet apocalypse. In the next episode, I will discuss the first narrative tale added with the Tales from the Far Territory expansion. Signal Void revealed to us something we were never supposed to know. Great Bear Island was not as abandoned as we thought. For now, please make sure to do everything on screen. You have no idea how much it will help the video and the channel. I'll be waiting for you in episode 5.